Hello there everyone and welcome back to the Bruder Creek. I'm your host, Mr. Balding Salava Bob. The Kingdom of Abyssinia joins the Greater Slavagon Town. Our plan to stop expansionism from swinging uh, Eurasia as making progress. Hayo Selassie approves our efforts and has accepted our invitation to an alliance. One step closer to building Eurasia. The UK condemns our expansion into the Horn of Africa. Today, Westminster initiated a diplomatic objection to a consensual alliance with Ethiopia, declaring it a force of education. The threatening to cut off diplomatic ties further, we do not hold expanding influence in the African continent. Who are they to talk? Talking to the Cossacks, who sought being allies of the Tsar. The Cossacks have tried to gain autonomy from Russia for years now. Must end the resistance and finally incorporate them into Russia. Defender Brothers. The Austrians pose a massive threat to our Balkan ambitions, particularly in Serbia and Romania. Let's make sure we get these nations on our side to open up the Balkan front. Pretty much. It's only 1938. And it's been like a day or two since this last, last episode. At least when I've been recording. So, talking to the Cossacks. Defender Brothers. And we've got a couple other decisions here, too. We could really use more stability. Um, we're going to keep doing this, too. And... Oh, well. Whatever. We need more stability. Whatever. Um, you're like... You're all like coal mines. Secure... Oh, Transylvanian re rebels, of course. Volunteers for the rebels. Over here. Um, East African ambitions. Develop Sagalo infrastructure. Which wouldn't be bad. For Djibouti. Sagalo's military might. And war propaganda. It's not bad. Resources, we can wait for that one, so. Yeah, just, we need more political power. Yeah, you can do that one. This one? Sure, you can have that too. Intelligence? Oh. Do we have intelligence? Yeah, we should get intelligence agency. Why not? We don't have... Well, actually, we have a decent amount of civvies these anyways, but... Pacifying and Finnish nationalist movements. Oh, look at that. North German Confederation. The Finns dare to try to break from grasp. Send troops to Karelia. They belong in Russian hands. Or Persian submission. The Ottomans can use the Persians for their industry, people, and oil. Uh, therefore, we should intervene in the situation. And make sure we get per resources first. Do we actually do anything here? I'll start with these guys again. They're only 12 combat with, with literally nothing on them, which is not good. Oh, of course, Carol's rule. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Defender Brothers, Persian submission. Go throw some arty on you guys. There we go. Train. Anything here? Um, I'm just gonna go with this because increased chance of X uh, blitz and encirclement tactics. Even though we're, it's only cavalry, but whatever. <coughs> Operation Third Rome. Just in case, it's time to ride for us to deal with the Austrians once for all. Time for us to go through the Operation Third Rome and make sure make use of all of our previous uh, preparations. They stand defiant. Look at that. Diplomats from the Sublime State of Persia arrived today to announce that they declined our offer to unite the Sublime State of Persia with the Russian Empire. Disappointing as it may be, uh, the option of bringing the Sublime State of Persia to heal by force remains a valid and attempting option. Now, I don't know what we'll do, especially with Blasov, huh? 79. As much as I want to do all this stuff, trust me, I really do. So want more stability. Could we actually, like, just invade? Well, let's take a look-see. I don't know how strong they are. They might have a couple divisions here and there. And our guys are only to have combat with. They are cavalry, which means they should move relatively quickly, but... Uh, but we do have some comments as well to go through, too. Um, one second for those comments. But, Persia... 21 divisions max. Playing-wise, we're doing okay. Fighters, fighters. If you have one already, put one there. Put one there, too. Um, do we have anything else here? Fighters, teach strap bombers. Get some interwar bombers, too. Go in if you can. Call in Abyssinia. No, you just go in and around. That's literally all you should do. It's literally just a game plan. NKVD? I don't know about that. There you go. Are you guys down at there so you can inspire them too? Uh, here, let's go there. There. They should be able to take care of them, but you never know. Oh, we got caught. Nice. Good. There you go. Which is East Siberia. Did I read that one? Um, the East Siberian Turks for across the world, essentially run their own state. We'll send in troops to the Siberian Wasteland and enforce St. Petersburg rule. Pretty much. Hey, it's coming nice. 
Good job so far. We've eliminated 21,000. Not bad. Go here. Oh, come on, man. Kill them all off, please. Kill them all off, please. It's a good experience, though, for our generals, too. The run will be ours. Nice. And... Uh, I'll press the third run. We'll go that one, just in case. Definitely learning a lot from the department. Nice. Kim Philby. I'll take her run back. That sucks. It's alright though. Probably gonna get in circle, but that's okay. Um. Um, Far Eastern Threat. We get more war sports, not bad. Remember the Eastern Front? 70 day focus, though. Holy crap. Sloppy defenses. Uh, the Serbians are in a rather dangerous position in the event of a war with the Austrians, for they have a s small army and low defenses. They also lack infrastructure, so our army is a little east as well. So, after this, we must protect them and help them develop the better spy lines and defenses. Yeah, I agree. Oh, and we got encircled. Non aggression back from Germany. Now we have hostile relations between the two countries. Him and Goring have suggested formal non aggression back between us so that no war will come between. Yeah. Why not? If you're doing it wrong, go down here. Stahlpakt. Circle and destroy. You're giving him tougher. 38, almost 39. Let's get some more output. One of the video videos, one of the comments from the last video says, "Noise." Someone else says, "Hmm, yeah." So I shall end do third Rome. Yes. Uh, go ahead, keep taking stuff. Keep taking stuff here. I can't imagine these guys will keep the fight up. In all honesty, 100,000 manpower. We got 2.7 million. At this point, I'm gonna force the attack. And then lobby for some conservative support. Yeah, I kind of have to do that. And grab the guns. Grab some more guns. Come on, just kill it off. The cavalry divisions are not as good as our cavalry divisions. Uh, Royal State of Serbia joins the Greater Slavic Entente. Plan to stop expansionism from swaying Eurasia to make progress. Dorda Kara Dodevic approves of our efforts and accepted our invitation to an alliance. We're only one step closer to building Eurasia and purchase surrenders. Persians are announced surrendered to our officials today after seeing rolled into Tehran. It's a great victory. Persian oils. Southern Persia has plenty of oil, just wanting to be exploited. To most effectively exploit the oil, though, we must expand the infrastructure present within the area. Not bad. I mean, it could have definitely gone better for us, but whatever. Um, you guys might go to war with us too. Because of that, I'm going to keep you here. Just in case. That's not enough divisions for us. It's really not enough. Oh, holy crap. Um, okay. Viet Cong, huh? Look at gold in Siberia. Siberia has tons, oh, tons of resources. What such resource is that happens to be oil. Uh, now maybe costly, but we should we can we should do what we can in order to exploit this resource. Yeah, pretty much. Their dentism. Fifty percent is not bad. Maybe a few more dockyards, actually, and more military factories, really. Uh, let's get a dockyard. And a melee. There you go.
Oh, our loyal friend and Ferdinand. Must try strengthening her relations with Bulgaria to help counter the Austrian Empire and the Ottomans and their influence within the Balkans. Slavic Research Initiative. A joint Slavic Research Initiative will help the Balkans produce more guns and improve their army, which has potential to destroy the Austrians. Now, the comment was, Quick question from a Russian randomly finding your video on this recommended. You know what your nickname means in Russian? Yes. Actually, several people have explained to me. I don't remember exactly, but I do sort of remember. So this is, uh, next campaign you play, you can do Syndicalistic, uh, Syndicalista, Syndicalista German. I'll see. Ooh. Yeah, you guys get down here. You actually leveled up and got engineer. Or combined arm expert, yes, that's good. Good, good. Your dentism, sure, why not? I'm tired of seeing this one, just do it. Uh, Bulgaria joins the Greater Slavic on top. Our plan of self expansionism from swaying Eurasia to make a progress. Put in that first, approves of our efforts, and accept our invitation to an alliance. So then, what's the closer to building Eurasia? Joint military training. The proper training our allies' military's potential to transform the Balkan front and must be trained by our advisors to dominate the battle line. Not bad. Actually, we're at 50% some. Oh, Cossacks and all that. Sure. Motorized? Sure. Transfer some of the Air Force? Sure. Sure. Is this the Rebels? Word and Wars. Operation Third Rome. <coughs> Our mobilization will be complete in 20 days. We lose a lot of stability, though. Ah, oh, since soldiers are Cossacks, okay. That makes sense. And uh, where's that? Kharkov, Kherson. Oh, Finland. Down here too. I don't know. I saw him. I was right there. And yeah, we'll get there. Sure, why not? And there you go. Do military training. They shoot southern to Bruja. If we want to get anywhere in the Eastern Balkans, we must settle the dispute between the Romanians and the Bulgarians of the Southern Dobrugia, of course. To solve this issue, we'll have to anger some one of the two nations. Will it cancel since he left already? No. Siberian Turks. Northeast Siberia. Northwest. Northeast. Good luck, guys. Carpathian defenses. <clears throat> probably export to uh, Bulgaria, probably. Forced industrialization. Focus on investments. Probably to Bulgaria, maybe. Bulgaria must be supported by our trade to help strengthen uh, the economy that with newfound resources they can invest in the military. The issue of southern Dobrugia. Something, something ethnic conflicts with the Balkans, no, nothing new. Pretty much. Focus on investments. I kind of prefer this one. Forced industrialization. Uh, with their support, the Balkans would be industrial powerhouses. A Gary Nome or. Nice. Get that too. Better radar. Across two different fronts. Our infrastructure would be nice. But we still gotta get more conservative support just in case. I doubt it's gonna be super important, but whatever. War propaganda? Yeah. Three nine. Artillery, yes, please. 
Come, well, Kamo says, uh, should tr you should try all different paths for this nation. Yeah, there's quite a few different paths, and I would like to try them out sometime. <clears throat> Sounds like fun. Someone says, I would, wouldn't like you to go to Napop. I'd much prefer you go with authoritarian democracy. And someone says, I was going to kill Zukov. I really want to see a Kretzky campaign. Someone says, is it bad that every time I see this portrait, um, probably Kretzky or this guy, an event, I expect an event to pop up telling me Kretzky gets shot. And someone says, the Tsar shall leave the empire. His bald head will shine the glory of Russia across the world. Yeah, pretty much. The Moscow Conference. Having consolidated our influence in the Eastern Balkans, we must hold a conference with our allies to discuss further protection relations. Afghan policing. Afghanistan has historically been a cause for tension between us and Britain. Now that Britain is not in West India, though, we can make use of this time to bring Afghanistan under our control. Center of the White Army, advisors. The Balkans are currently under our thumb, and with the war with the Austria coming fast, we must prepare the Balkans. The quickest and most effective method of doing so is just sending them equipment and military advisors, which we will just do. The Far Eastern threat. Actually, this one. Do you have to be at war? No. For East Asia, has been historically dominated by either Japan or China, and now we can stop history from continuing on in such a way, the simplest way is to deal with the current dominating power. Defense of Vladivostok. If there are any fighting occur on the Russian mainland and far far east, must protect Vladivostok with all we got. Not only is the position close to both personal enemies, it's also potential enemies. It's also a large Pacific port and Mongol leanings. The Mongolians are in a tricky situation, as throughout history they have been owned by us and China. As of this moment, though, the Mongols are not favored particularly one side. What's expected for the Chinese tribes to bring Mongolia over to them? This cannot and will not happen. Afghanistan submits. The Afghan government has agreed to abandon their independence and become a puppet state of the Russian Empire. We'll make sure this leads to greatest and advanced Russian interests in the region. Nice. As we're currently doing a what? A united Russia. We crush many more peoples who decide to break free from the motherland. Russia's on the path of being truly ethnically and linguistically uh, united and protect the Pontic uh, Republic. The Ottomans can easily exploit the Pontic Front, and now we must fortify the entire line by integrating Trebizond. We'll be able to c cover our flanks. Now, the Prussians, or the North German Confederation, has gone to war with these guys already. And actually, if anything, I'm going to actually have all you guys come down here, too. I kind of doubt we'll be fighting the Ottomans, but, you know, whatever. Um, you guys will hold the line, right? You know what? You guys just stay back here. Because we'll fight the Ottomans eventually. I'm not sure about you guys, though. Um, we're pretty much good to go at this point. Been waiting to go for a while now, actually. Do we have an infantry leader? Cavalry leader? Oh, the council. Not okay, yeah, we do have an infantry leader. That's not bad. He's pretty good. Yeah, not bad so far. I mean, we're, we're building ourselves up pretty nicely, in all honesty. It's looking not too bad. Just building up some more. Uh, that's up too. Um, these soldiers are what? 18 combo, which is okay. I did throw in some. Uh, we'll get that to two. And we. Uh, stuff here. The forces are ready. Our forces, our, our army's mobilized. Ready to wipe the Austrians off the face of Europe. Nice. And then, um, we had, I want to make some divisions too. They're only light tanks. It's okay. Could be better. But they should do okay. Oh man, we need way more of this. Um, tanks. Wait, are we not making tanks? Oh, there they are right here. My bad. Uh, I'll go with five at least for that. And go and tell our guys to stop training. Guys, a lot of them need to get repaired. Wow, that's a lot. Big guns, expert, huh? Capital ship attack. Safety first. I like safety first as well. Ground pound is okay. Effects of sustained critical hits. 10% to hit him more. Decisive battle. Genius. 10% mm. greater chance to score critical effects. If we get critical hitted. Effects of them go down by 50%. I prefer to be safe for now. And then you guys. Sea Wolf. I almost always now do... What is, which one? Silent Hunter, just because I like reveal chance. Screen penetration is not bad, but you can't get up to torpedo hunter if you do this route. So I like hit chance too. So you can, and when you go with Silent Hunter, you go both of these. Uh, and I'd rather just chuck more than getting critical hits. So for that one, thank you very much. Europe is in total war. Totally fine with us. Russian intervention in the Europa Creek. End of the following the Russian army marches. Nice. And just in case, fighters and fighters go there. Tactical bomber go there. Fighters and fighters. Oh, I'll make sure we. Oh, that's fine for now. Also, we did get Manchuria into the thing as well. I think. We did get Mongolia, or I guess the Kumo Khanate, as well as the Manchu Republic. That was pretty nice. Pretty nice. Yeah, I, trying to place Austria in this is very difficult. Very, very, very difficult. Relocate industry. 
Well, Krakow, nice. Vacuum the heavy machinery with our small scale factories to the Urals is a huge undertaking, but it's necessary to secure our war production. Eh, I think we'll be okay without doing that. Highway. I got one too. A lot of infantry. Three base priority. Listen, Krakow. I'm down here. Uh, who's this? Somebody. Is it Albania? Might have been Albania. No, maybe not. No, maybe not. Huh. Moscow Conference. Yes. The German Confederation. Yes. Just a lot of infantry. Oh, Galicia's gone. Pontic Republic. Yes. Good, good, good. Jolly good. Stop trying to go to Romania. We're not trying to kill them off. They're in the Brothers Coalition. So, there's that. And, of course, these guys, the Mongol trainings, which Orleans will, which will do, and then build up influence in Manchuria. Oh, look at that. Both a small border with the Japanese and scaling and the border with the Chinese are quite undefended. A large reason being the fact that we never viewed either group as a threat to the Siberian wilderness. And it has now changed to the colleges of the New World, where we require Pacific access to reach them. This means we must fortify the region heavily. Wait, what? Right, better stop training then. Are they at war with Trabazon as well? I mean, if they are, that's fine. I don't really care. That's what I'll have. Everyone come down here. I knew they'd come and attack us eventually. I just wasn't sure when. So. But we're doing still quite well against the Austrians. France is going to war with us too. We kind of figured that would happen. Oh, America. Hey, thanks. Hey, thanks for long. The UK condemns the invasion of the Ottomans. What? You, what? Today, Westminster uh, issued a diplomatic objection to a rifle invasion of the Ottoman Empire, claiming an unwanted, uh, unwarranted act of total aggression. The threat to cut off diplomatic ties further if we do not halt expanding our influence in the Middle East. Don't care. What? They went to war with us. I did not go to war with them. That is lies. Lies. Western lies. Actually, do we have anything else here? Probably go to war economy next. Probably for the best. You guys actually go in. The Arabian offer. The Sultan of the Nation has made an offer to help us in our going, going war against the Ottoman Empire. The Nation Ottoman Empire has been long approved of fight for the dominance in the Arabian Peninsula. The Saudis have assured the support of the Emirate of Bani Khalid and Emirate of Muatar. It was possible the Emirate of Jabal Shamar might join their long time Turkic ally if we accept the Nation's offer. What should we do? Okay. They join us. The Sultan of the Nation has officially joined the war against uh, the Ottomans. The Arabian Front has opened up and a skirmish with troops have already begun. Let's see what happens. The most important thing to do is win against the Austrians. That is the thing I care about the most. Here's Albania. Bye, Albania. These guys have no fuel. These guys... They have a little bit of fuel. Nice. Oh, sure, guys. Thanks for joining in. Can't the politic of Republic. Our claim the glory of Constantia. Constantia is, was and still is an extremely important city, both historically and economically. Not only does Const Constantia control access to the rest of the world from the Black Sea, but our access is the only bridge between Europe and Asia that we do not control. Now, though it's under our influence, we shall restore the strength of power. The Ottoman Empire has, in response to a recent alliance with Asia, called their own allies, Jabal Shamar and Nazgal, to the side. Blood flows in the deserts. The Constitutional Protection Army of Guizhou, Hunan, Jiangxi, also known as the Constitutional Protection Army, uh, seeks to join the Greater Slavic Entente. As current up peoples into international politics continue to reverberate through the world, the Qiong Qiong have deemed this to be the greatest chance to survive in these tumultuous times. They therefore request to be admitted to our line so that we may weather the coming storm together. We're better off without them. Oh, look at that, and they just instantly become our ally. Promise dominance over the Balkans. North German Confederation has agreed. They were the rightful rulers of the Balkans, and they will back in, or back our Balkan aims in the peace treaty. A good sign for alliance. Very good signs. Yeah, like I said earlier, just the main, ooh, circlement. Uh, the main goal right now is to destroy Austria. And then we'll focus on these guys quite a bit more. So, yeah. Uh, I might have to reload the game just because, ooh, they're getting invaded. Not good. Uh, but the main reason we had, we had to reload is because uh, it's been quite a bit of time between now and then. Since the fade and fade out, basically. Just don't lose too many subs, please. That's the biggest thing. Just don't lose too many subs. Um, and ward and awards. Relocate stuff. Nah. Ooh. Oh, oh. A little bit of lag. Interesting. Oh. 
Oh, I guess they're fighting. The Second Bush War. Oh, well, whatever. Bolivian National Social Front. Okay, whatever. Um, Go to Trieste. Because Vienna's already fallen. It's great, don't get me wrong. Djibouti's gone. That's not good. You guys are not doing so well, but that's okay. Uh, here, do that. Yeah, that'd be nice. More divisions. Um, Here, throw them here. It's fine for now. Infantry specialists, we already have one. Italy declared war on the Pope, which is good for us. Sure, guys. Sure. Praha would be nice. Uh, go to Trieste if you can. You guys, Zukov is doing all right. We're doing okay against these guys down here too. Greater Mongolian kind of joins the Greater Slavic Entente. Our plan is to stop expansionism from swaying Europe or Eurasia. Let's make a progress. Gang is calm. The second proof of our efforts and it's accepted our invitation to an alliance. Nice. Put up uh, influence Manchuria. Um, it's pretty much. Both the small border with Japan and Sakhalin and the borders with the Chinese are quite undefended. The large reason being the fact that we never viewed either group as a threat due to the Siberian wilderness. That has now changed with the colonies in the New World, where we meet or require Pacific access to reach them. This means we must fortify the region heavily. Ooh. So we're on mass assault. Reinforce rate's not bad. Um, honestly, at this point, I don't want to go mass assault. Mass assault's not a lot of fun. Well, I mean, just, it's not bad. It's just not great. And we have better options like superior firepower. I'm going to do human wave stuff, which is okay. Yeah, I, I'm just not feeling it. I don't ever want to use mass assault unless I'm, I'm trying to meme really hard, and I'm not trying to meme really hard right now. Actually, backhand blow's not bad, too. But grand battle plan might be more of our thing. Having a grand battle plan. I'm um, superior fiber is always the way you want to go. I think we're gonna go ramp. Actually, maybe not, maybe not ramp battle. Let's take a look. See, do we have anything here? I just a bonus to our stuff. Light tanks, heavy tanks. And we are trying to make tank divisions. I mean, we're Russia. We want a grand battle, grand ambitions. I think this time. Go grand battle plan. We're gonna go superior power power another time. We'll go mobile warfare another time. So you just lost 10% training level, which means nothing. Lost 2% better reinforcement, but we just got more entrenchment. Which still doesn't make any sense, since we're gonna be very offensively focused, but whatever. Uh, in the meantime, though, we're coming. We're not gonna go total mobilization, there's no need to. So. Um, more millies? Oh, yeah, you betcha. You bet your keister we're gonna get more millies. Somalia's gone, that's good. Goodbye, Somalia. Uh oh. Alright, our fleet should be here. Oh, can you guys actually get there? Go ahead. Oh! Okay, then. Commonwealth. Well, they're busy down here, so I'm not really too worried about that right now. Um, Alright. Whatever. Oh, well, that sucks. Keep pushing. We will win in the end. Oh, we got in circle. That sucks. I just want Trieste. That's all I want. Just one Trieste, please. Oh, look at that. We lost a couple subs, a couple ships ourselves. Dutcher here. And everyone else wants a non-crush back. Oh! Okay, then. A little bit of lag. Alright. Oh. Well, oh, that's peace deal. Nice. We didn't get the Concord of Hamburg just because, obviously, Romania is in the other... This alliance here. Uh, so now these guys... Oh, that's not bad. So now they can just focus on the French. Uh, we focus on some Ottoman boys. Ooh. Actually, that's a case. We'll have you guys get down here. And we'll tag team these guys. And really start focusing on the Anglo, the English. And if we can pop them and take Constantia, that'd be great so we can get these guys out of here too. Um. Fuck the Freundschaft. Honestly, I don't want to send you guys down there. But I'm not sending you guys down here. Follow Prague. Follow Vienna. Follow Munich. Beautiful. They got their stuff. We got our increased white army presence. Oh. Send Russian migrants. Oh. We need to integrate our satellite trip to prevent from falling into Ottoman hands. Current integration process is zero. Keep doing that. Trinity Munich. Beautiful, my friends. Uh, 
Oh, the Baltic situation. The Baltics are our friends. And they are, for the most part, loyal to us. Now they can be brought further under thumb and bring them entirely into Russia. Oh, yes, please. Go ahead, when you're ready, you may go ahead and repair. Are you... They're all repairing. Oh, but it doesn't take our own dockyard to do that, so. Just fine, whatever. Cavalry specialist. In all honesty, I'm probably going to convert him anyways to this. Go with combined arms for now. More processing is nice. Let's so talk about that anyways. Let's do that too. Ooh, we lost two subs. That's not good. Can you guys just go home here? Uh, go home to here. It just makes it faster. Faster for everybody and everything. And then, throw one of these on here. These and these. That'll be good. Throw one of these here too. Franco-Spanish Alliance, that's fine, no one cares. Uh, since we're down here, I can't build too much there. I can build some of that too. Slowly start pushing, pushing, pushing. Pu Wait, Persia. Yeah, you're not alliance. You're you should be still the art puppet. Ooh. Still hasn't leveled up yet, which is not good. But if influence venture is good though. Baltic situation. Hobbin defiant. Diplomats from Hobbin arrived in, in, uh, today announced that they declined our offer to unite Hobbin with the Russian Empire. This point may be the option of bringing Hobbin into a heel by force remains a valid authentic option. And they submit, though. The Manchu government does. The Manchu government has agreed to abandon their independence and become a puppet state of the Russian Empire, which will also lead to greatness and advanced Russian interests in the region. Yay. As they should. Submit or die. Your choice. We've got tenure, which is good. Nice. Oh god, these heavy ships are going to take forever to repair. It's fine. Oh, hello, who are you? Oh, naval bombers, yeah, we could really use you. Can't throw you over there, which is a mistake, but whatever. Um, here. I'm going to Black Sea and do that. Pretty fine, bomb the living crap out of them. Do we have any other planes left? Oh, yes we do. Anything else here? Interwar bombers, that's not bad. There we go. Oh, we're out of infantry. That's not good. For now, just go and lower them for now. Way more guns are needed now. I don't know what we're not making any. Not bad. Oh, look at that. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Puerto Rico. While Clapeda is already a large port, it cannot hurt to have multiple ports. The This means the Puerto Rico should also be expanded upon. Puerto Rico is also advantage of being a historically important port of the Baltics. Absolutely. Port of Clapeda. Port of Clapeda was a, a lot of potential within it, and it also a way of bringing the Baltics closer to us. Oh, you betcha. Good. I don't know how they're able to keep this up. In all honesty, they should be, like, dying. Because they should have, like, no guns like us, which is good to see. And we're actually sending you guys here, too. Kim Philby. Come on, you stupid ships. Hurry up. I said hurry up. You know what? They're hurrying up. I love it when that works. Puerto Rico, nice. And, uh, yeah. Uh, well, oil is a major resource in Siberia. There's still plenty of other resources. One such example would be the massive amount of nickel at present and exploitable. So we're here. Make sure we don't lose our stuff too much. Do that one. In 1940, we also want to do some nuclear stuff, maybe? I always research it, but I never actually really get there.
Now we bear superiority, which is good. Spare fighters, spare attack bombers. Here's with that one. Nice. It's not great, but you know what? We'll take it. Oh, holy crap! Nice! Admiral Kolchak, you dog! You, holy crap! Impressive! Just come back to Petrograd for now. Very nice job. Fuel is okay. Better already. Probably get some logistics companies too. Need more light tanks. We need a lot more of everything, really. Mm. There is one more going for now. I mean, we're slowly, slowly, slowly winning. You know what? You guys hold here. Gives a little bit of time. Let them attack us. Let's get some more planning done as well. These guys are going to stop attacking too. You guys are not going to stop attacking though. Oh! British intervention in the Europa Krieg. Well, good luck guys. Hey, unification. Oh boy. Unification in Germany. I, I don't know if that's going to be good enough, man. Truth be told, I mean, the German, the Volksreich, Protectorate of Bohemia, Protectorate of German Austria. Interesting. They're doing really well, especially Italy. Let's keep holding on for now. Do you need more supply anywhere? Of course you do. Because, my god, it's awful. Here. Why or how would you not want supply? Nice. Not much. Expansion of Helsinki. The port of Helsinki, Finland will boost our ba Baltic Sea situation further. Baltic equality. Currently, those born in the Baltics have a, lot, a few less rights than those from Russia itself. Now, though, we develop the Baltics to a level comparable to that of our more developed regions. This makes bringing the Baltic people to a more equal position with the Russians a lot easier, and we can bring them closer to us. Hello. Bur Junta. Nice. Very nice. Boy, are they attacking or what? Get the wrangle. What a dude. What a dude. Nice. I just want you to sink everything that they freaking got. How much more do we have to repair? 10? Makes sense. We'll put them in that, that one base. Trip is on. We can kind of wait for that stuff. Highway. Go to the highway stuff. Baltic equality. Baltic infrastructure. The Baltics are rather lacking infrastructure-wise. Infrastructure in an effort to bring the Baltics close to us, we can improve said infrastructure. I'll add three. Add three? Wow. It's kind of impressive if you add three. Yeah, these guys are not going to do very well. They've actually broken through almost. Almost having a circuit there. 134,000 losses. Not bad. Not bad. Ottoman Empire. Gotta kill more. Ooh. Oh, and the Americans are getting involved too. Beautiful. Love it. Peter's dream achieved. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's pretty, very nice for doctored stuff. We've made the Baltic Sea a build, budding area of growth and trade. A part of Russia. And for Peter, we'll be proud of what we built. Oh, absolutely. Not bad. You could keep expanding yourself, probably, too. They do love attacking. Not sure how they get all these extra resources, but you know, they love attacking. Ah. Well, I'm going to start at Niederlande. Not bad. It's 
some artillery to the left. Continue to expand this. Strap bombers, you know what? Borjunta is gone, unfortunately, but whatever. Just, just strap bomb this. It's not going to do very much, but whatever. Where are you at here? Not much there. You want to keep them placed there. I mean, they're, they're just going to kill their men off like that, so. And we're killing our own men off, but I mean, I'm not too worried about it. We got plenty of men. Alright, so now, 50th Division Propaganda. Just in case. The 50th Division saw Sakhalin and the Kuril Islands were divided between us and the Japanese, of course. The both should be entirely Russian. At this time, the 50th Division is viewed by many within our nation as a form of in submission to the Japanese, so we can use the 50th Division as war propaganda. Forgot about you guys over here, too. My god, supplies have got to be so god awful. That's why we're not even advancing. Like, it's, it's got to be so bad here. Oh, it's so bad. Just hold the line. That's all I care about right now. Revenge for 1905. Uh, let's wait for that one. Remember the Eastern Front. Uh, I think I read this one earlier, but uh, the Eastern Front of the Europa Creek was very enlightening and revolution when it came to ethics of warfare. Let's make sure to learn from it and invest in our army. Cool. Repair the bombardments. Um, we must make sure to strike our opponents before they can even see us, so when we face them in the combat, our forces have every advantage. Prepare the bomb bombardments. Ooh, I like that one a lot. Uh, we must make sure to strike at our enemies before they can even see us, of course, but competitive equipment developments. Achieve the best equipment we can. We must have those designing it compete with each other in order to earn government contracts. Well, everyone, a new United Arabia. Long known as a place of oil, sand, and little else, now most of the Arabian Peninsula is united underneath Abdulaziz bin Abdul Rahman al Saud. The balanced power shifted in the Middle East, and no way anyone can predict. And the division of the Ottoman Empire, because we literally just took Constantia. That's all you had to do to beat the crap out of them. Having fallen to their long-time fellow Russia, as are the Ottomans as they see fit, establishing several Arabic public states and leaving a rump state in Anatolia. Beast writer and Yad Morbius of the New York Times is calling this massive upturn the Arab Spring, with multiple ethnic groups gaining autonomy from the past of Sultan. The British expressed great anxiety over the fall of the Ottomans, who owe them many loans, and have denounced Russia's actions as Middle Eastern imperialism. Sick man of Europe has been put down. Beautiful. And we just got bigger. We got a big faction. But now we gotta be beat up these guys over here too, so. Um go all the way down here. It's gonna really flip and suck. And we'll go from here. Keep building. Well, that was a lot better. I thought we'd have a little bit more time, but it's easier Palestine, whatever. You guys are all down here, which means we're all gonna go right here, and then we're gonna invade all the way through here. And we're going to enjoy our time together as well by doing that. Well, Germany's doing really well, and so we'll probably beat up Germany itself. And so now, everybody, uh, the Germans have now gone to war with us. Not good, not good, not good. Ooh. But, uh, yeah, that's not really good at all. This front is going to fall very quickly, but these guys, they are doing okay against the French Empire, but it is what it is, as we're still doing prepare the bombardments. Um, after that, we got to deal with the Tyrannus. We took over all the Royal Ottoman Empire, but now we've got a massive issue. Light to me, rebels, so we must figure out a solution to the growth of the Levant. The Levant has shifted dramatically throughout history. The region has been both a source of conflict and a source of peace. A source of unity and yet a source of division. Now it is both a source of friends and a source of enemies. We should develop the region to reduce the number of potential enemies in the region, though. And also, we're trying to reduce the uh, crush trying sympathies here so they don't rise up against us. So we're working on that. Um, as we're trying to, going to try to rush divisions to the north. Um, uh, yeah, we got... Uh, it's not great right now. And also, you can't invade Finland, but whatever. If we move fast enough through Germany, we should do okay. They broke the Stalag Pact. They have up to 150 divisions. We have 116 total. Uh, maybe I should not have called in all of our allies. Actually, that's not good because these guys are here, here too, but whatever. I mean, like I said, if we can move fast enough through here, these guys are going to crumble, hopefully, very quickly. At least that's my hope. So, let's see. can't believe these guys invaded us through Finland. No, you're going you're to keep forcing the attack. I don't care what happens. Really don't. See the win or die. You have no in between because we don't have any op other option right now. I'm taking most of Prussia though, like a huge chunk of Prussia, huge, huge, huge chunk of Prussia. Anything else around here? That's a pretty big mistake for them to go to war with us. We can crush them as soon as the Tyrannists, as soon as they we have. 25% or less support for them, I think, so. 
And we did send our battleships down here too. So. so now we're seeing a bunch of Italian stuff. Nice. Now we're ready to invade those guys over there. And back to Prague, pretty much. We have the main battle fleet's over here, too. Not bad. Not bad at all. Need some kind of boys? You, you know, you must just do this. But you guys are actually going to be right here. And you're going to do the best you can. And I'm going to add a port right there. At least a little bit of supply. Are you guys getting attacked yet? No, we're going to do that too. How many guns are we out? Hey, we're not out of any guns. Nice. Only 14 combat with still, but we got to change that. Look at all these Anglo boys trapped here for no reason. Force it. Actually, I forced attack there earlier, but whatever. Just like Gallipoli. Goodbye. And good riddance. That was a huge mistake for them to do this. Just a colossal mistake. More screens. I prefer more capital ships, but whatever. Bro, right, we're approaching Berlin. Kustrin. Getting us all that much more army XP. Not that much more, but hey, it's something. Alright, let's come back up here. 94% is not bad. 25% gotta wait. Not bad. Should be weaker than route prop honestly probably should be. And Berlin's almost a frontline city. Come on, guys. Hey, Albania's gone. Were we fighting Albania? I guess our allies were. What is that? Hey, the little task force. It's a three-way war, man. Oh, now we're out of guns. Crap. Hey, that's pretty good. This admiral that we have is very good. Oh, we have a non-aggression pact with them, huh? Probably smart for them to actually have that. We did wipe peace out with the Chinese over there, though. Not bad. There goes Bohemia. Ah, oh, I'm going to start Niederlande. We don't want to be too aggressive with too many people at one time. Bohemia. Bohemia, please die. Actually, you already did, but whatever. And we're just going to walk into Berlin. Thanks for Berlin, everybody. Thanks for Berlin. Yeah, unified Germany just to die. Congratulations. What did you accomplish in the end? Recruit Turkish collaborators? Yay, we got it. Go ahead and crush them. Keep on pushing, y'all. Even though Hungary's not doing very well right now, that's okay. Oh, we're at war with Oman, too. Oh, man. Hey, the Ottoman states look like they're actually doing something here. Oh, that's so sad. I'm going to do something really bad here. We're going to make these guys huge. We're going to be completely out of everything. It's all right. Actually... Leadership, tip of the spear, anything to make this cheaper? Eh, not really. Now logistics is way worth it, way more worth it. Got rid of a Nimrod, nice.
Now our eyes really want to help us out. Next up, yeah, I'll do the trest. Go on hold for now. We're max planning first. Done. When does this non aggression pack expire? Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. Oh god, that's not good. 1941, grab some of that. Grab some of this. Nope. No, since we did that, hopefully they'll come into the war and try to beat us up. Oh, they're actually attacking us too. Look at that. Nice. Here, help them out. If I help them out, I mean kill them all off. And I'd hate to be Sweden right now. But I might do a little bit more of this off screen. Uh, cool. We'll do this one too. We're not going to take out Japan until later. But, uh, sort of all, the military schools. Technology is improving at a lowering pace, and we must make sure our tactics use new technology yet, so we're not caught off guard. By building schools, we can train a new generation of Russian generals equipped with the most up to date tactics. Modernize the white army. Our troops must move quickly in order across a vast Russian expanse. By increasing the amount of militarization in our military, we can achieve swift movement with fresh troops. Now we're going to do a swift movement, swift troop movements. I deploy can use shell rocket launchers as much as I want to do that one. I definitely want that one. But this is not bad either, and I prefer light tanks over heavy tanks. So, <clears throat> in order to exploit the openings of enemy lines, we must first have fast tanks that can move in as quickly as possible. Swift shoot movements. Swift movements are I move able to circle and crush all that's in our way in vehicular warfare. Warfare is based on vehicles now, not just boots on the ground. Their capabilities are transportation, speed, armor, and out which outclasses infantry in every way. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will finish off all of our enemies. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great rest of your day.